Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is another video from Aquatics Live 2012 show in London. What you see right now is a small exhibition arranged by members of Hanslow and District Aquarist Society from the UK. You may ask what is so special about these aquariums, they don't look particularly attractive, but this is actually one of the best aquarium exhibitions I have ever seen. It demonstrates various methods of breeding aquarium fish. Ok, so let's have a look at these aquariums. The first tank demonstrates the method of breeding killifish and other fish which spawn in the thicket of plants. You can replace plants with so-called spawning mop, visible in the right corner. Mops can be made of acrylic wool or other artificial fibers to prevent them from decomposing in the water. Fish spawn inside this mop and after spawning you can carefully remove the mop from the aquarium together with eggs deposited inside and put this mop to another aquarium filled with the same water to allow the small fish to hatch. In this way you make sure that the parents will not eat eggs and fry and you also do not stress the parents by catching them and removing from aquarium with the net. Ok, so this was the method for breeding killifish and now something about fish which scatter their eggs in open water. You want to prevent the eggs from being eaten and this is where these colorful marbles come in handy. When fish spawn in water, the eggs fall down between the marbles and are not available for the adult fish. After spawning, you should remove the parents from the aquarium to allow the small fish to hatch. This method is good for breeding many egg scatterers, like numerous species of danios, for example. Ok, so this was aquarium with marbles on the bottom and the next tank is an example of how you can breed egg scatterers in a more decorated planted aquarium. If the bottom is overgrown with a dense carpet of plants, some eggs will disappear there and will remain undetected by the parents. Then after hatching the small fish can hide between the leaves of other taller plants so you don't need to remove parents from the aquarium. However, when using this method you will never obtain as many young fish as when you remove the parents. The next aquarium shows the method of breeding fish which care for their young, like cichlid fish for example. There are many ways in which cichlids breed, but probably the most common one is that they find a suitable shelter and lay their eggs on the surface of that shelter. It might be a flat stone, a ceramic flower pot or a piece of PVC pipe as we can see here. After spawning parents will guard their eggs and after hatching they will care for their young so it's best to leave them with the fry as long as it is needed. Ok, this was aquarium for breeding fry carers and the next tank is an example of aquarium for breeding live bearers which give birth to live young. The only problem in this case is how to make sure that the young fish will not be eaten by their parents. For this you can put the female into aquarium with fine leafed plants. After being born small fish will hide between the plants and in this way they can avoid being eaten. If you look carefully you will see that there are some small fish swimming close to the group of these fine leafed plants. Ok, so this was the aquarium for breeding live bearers and the last tank is a setup for breeding labyrinth fish which build nests on the surface of the water. The nest is made of bubbles of air expelled by the male. It's like an island made of foam floating on the water surface. Here we see an artificial support for the nest which is this fragment of styrofoam. But fish often use some other floating objects to support the nest, like floating plants for example. Once the nest is ready, adult fish spawn underneath it and eggs float up into the nest. Females should be removed because male takes care for the nest after spawning. Here is a short glance from above, the aquarium is divided by removable glass wall, which is separating the pair because we don't want the nest to be built during the short time of Aquatics live show. Ok guys, so this was the exhibition of aquarium setups for breeding various kinds of fish made by members of the Hanslow and District Aquarist Society. 
If you like this video, please share it with others. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my page on Facebook or bookmark my website to be updated about new videos. And now, thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television, Definite Aquascape TV.